I'm finally joining the shotgun club, baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a review of the first shotgun that I ever purchased. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell. So that way you're updated on the latest from Kicks and Cannon TV. All right, welcome back. And again, man, like I said in the video, I finally joined the gun, the shotgun club, man, and I'm super excited about it. So I went out, got myself this Citydale shotgun. It's chambered in 12 gauge, and I was I was skeptical about it, man. It came came with uh like four chokes or so, but I was excited about it. Come on, the shotgun was only two. It was like two thirty nine, and I had like a hundred some dollars in credit at the store that I shop at. So I went down there and got it, man. Came out of pocket of like seventy bucks for this and two boxes of uh, ammo for it. But I've been doing a lot of shooting as far as like trap and ski shooting and five stands. So I was like, man, I want to get a shotgun. So that way I can go out there on my own and do some traps, trap and ski shooting, man. So I went out and purchased it. And man, y'all just got to look at it. Before I went out and bought it, I definitely should have did my research on this, man. But yeah, man, listen, I did everything they told me to do. I followed the instructions. This is the first time I ever read like a, a manual front to front. Usually I just take the manual, throw it out the window, you feel me? But on this one, I was like, this is my first shotgun. I'm gonna go ahead and read the manual. But yeah, man, I, I, I took it apart, cleaned it all the way down to the, the firing pin, man, and went out to the range and kaboom nothing oh i was so mad man like and, and I, I did a short on it a while back man to show me out there testing it out but i i had a i had a bad experience with it so hopefully i'm gonna test it out again um now that i did i went and took it back apart did a little bit more research on it so hopefully it do work if not city they'll get ready because i'm i'm banging y'all line for real yeah, I got some explaining to do. It was so many videos on YouTube and everybody was having the same, same issue. Failure to feed, failure to feed. Now, granted in the video, I mean, not the video, but in the manual, it does say, it's not even a manual. It's not even a manual. In the actual packaging, it's like a little small paper that says, for the best experience used, uh, 1300 FPS. Now, the salesman, and this is why I say all salesmen are not good salesmen. <laughs> the ammo that I did get was like 1200 to I think 1250. So it wasn't that far under, but I, I seen videos where they were shooting that same, you know, Frank, you know, shooting that same FPS um, and they wasn't having any issues. But again, Another person did an updated video and he was saying that after like 25 rounds or so, it started cycling properly. So hopefully, man, that's the case with me. I'll bring y'all an update on it um, as time goes and we'll see how that unfolds. Yeah, man, listen, I want to hear from y'all, man. Let me know down in the comments. Have you all purchased this shotgun before or do you all even own a shotgun? If so, let me know some recommendations of some better shotguns because I'm gonna definitely have to get another one. Um, again, this has been Kicks of Cannon TV. I'm your boy Spud. Talk to me in the comment section, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Next one.